Hello friends, this video straight line part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 10. Now let's understand normal form. Suppose there is a non-vertical line because yeah, if in normal form, if it is a vertical line, the slope is infinite. So for a non-vertical line, we have the following data. We have the length of perpendicular from origin to the line. That means if this is the line, we have this length, this length we have. Also we have the angle which normal makes with the positive direction of x. This normal makes angle omega with the positive direction of x. So we have two input. One is we have the length of this perpendicular from origin to this line plus we have the angle which this perpendicular makes with the x axis. If we have these two values we can write the equation of this line line this l as x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p where p is the length of this this line that is uh, from origin if we draw perpendicular to this line whatever length we get is the p and we have the omega angle angle that is the perpendicular subset with the x axis so if we have those values then the equation of the line will be x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to if you want we can prove this also first let's find the slope of line l so we'll say slope of line l let's suppose this is m so we'll say m is nothing but minus 1 by slope of line p because both are perpendicular so minus 1 by and slope of line p is tan omega so this is the slope of line tan this we have got or we can also say minus tan omega is nothing but minus this tan we can say sin omega by cos omega so this is one equation we have got that slope of line l is minus cos omega by sin omega now since this is p so we can say that this point will be p cos theta and this point will be p sin theta so this if you see the x coordinate will be p cos theta this p cos theta or p cos omega comma p sin omega this is the x and y coordinate so if you see point for point a the point will be p cos omega and p sin omega this is the value of x and y for point A. How? Since this is P, this is omega, this distance is called P cos omega. And this dotted distance which you see here is nothing but P sin omega. This is from the normal trigonometry. So if you see here, this distance is P sin omega and this is P cos omega. So for this point A, the x distance is this one that is p cos omega and the y distance is p sin omega so we have point a is p cos omega comma p sin omega now this is very simple we have slope and we have one point we can form the equation of the line so equation of the line is nothing but y minus p sin omega by x minus p cos omega is equal to m and m is nothing but my minus cos omega by sin omega this is m correct now we will do a cross multiplication so what we get is y sin omega minus p sin square omega is equal to minus x cos omega plus p cos square omega or we can say x cos omega I'm taking on the left hand side plus y sin omega is equal to p into sin square omega plus cos square omega this is what we get or we know that sin square omega plus cos square omega is equal to 1 so we can say that x cos omega plus sin omega is equal to 1 because we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 
this is what we know. So we can say sine square plus cos square is equal to 1. So this becomes 1 into p that is p and that is our desired equation. So we have found this equation x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p. We have proved this. Proof you may not require it, but you should remember that if you are given that for a line if you draw a perpendicular from origin the distance is p and that perpendicular makes a omega angle with the x axis then the equation can be written as x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p. We'll take one example. Here it says that the perpendicular distance from the origin is 5 unit that is p is equal to 5 and the angle which the normal makes the positive x direction is 30 degree. Please note this angle is the angle which normal makes not the line. So we can say the equation of the line is x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p or we can say x cos 30 degree plus y sin 30 degree is equal to 5. Cos 30 degree you know is root 3 by 2 and sin 30 degree we know is 1 by 2 we have learned this in trigonometry is equal to 5 or if we solve this we get root 3x plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the line. Very simple we were told the value of p and we were told that the value the angle which p makes with x axis positive x axis. We have just used the formula x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p and we have got the Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.